Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be the last installment in the Mandalorian Helmet Project, so if you want to see how to take a bunch of seemingly kind of random things and turn them into... into this. Alright, so if you've come along this far on my journey, thanks for following along. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, so as you saw in the previous videos, uh, we went through and painted everything up made the inside just a nice uniform flat black, um, covered everything last time to make sure nothing got inside the electronics or the air channels, and uh, clear coated it, and I'm very happy with how it all turned out. So what we're gonna do in today's video, I'm gonna make up the uh, tinted uh, T-visor out of just some very thin uh, tinted Lexan, and then we're gonna put that in, we're gonna put the helmet padding in, and then we're gonna assemble the rangefinder onto the side. So I'm going to do some stuff off camera now to not waste your time and then um, let's jump back in and I'll do a uh, accelerated video so you can kind of watch it go faster. All right, let's do this. So if you watched the whole time lapse, thanks for coming along. Um, I never really know if I'm showing you too much or if you uh, actually want to go through the process, but all in all, it turned out really great. Um, as you can see, um, let's kind of break it down step by step. So I tried to show you all the kind of plan trial and error that I did with the pads. Um, these pads were basically bought offline as sort of, you know, off brand extra padding for military type helmets. Um, you know, obviously it's designed for a different type of bucket, but it's close enough for what I'm looking for. So I couldn't really fit it in the way it was designed per se. That's why you saw I started cutting some pieces off and I sort of just started configuring it the way that I thought I was. Basically every time you saw the helmet come off screen, it was me putting it on, kind of jiggling it side to side, figuring out what fit and what didn't. Um, I'm probably gonna take maybe these off, cut these little connectors here, um, and then pull those in a little bit to get it away from the nut. Um, I'm not really liking how this sits, but I don't have a ton of other options. And realistically, I just needed some kind of volume back there, keeping the helmet from rocking back and forth. Um, you know, I was trying to pitch it properly. I kept testing it to make sure, because you know, the, the slit where your eye goes through isn't really that big. Now in Canon, at least, this is a sort of camera system. And then there's a basically heads up video display inside. So Mandalorians typically don't really need to necessarily look through that tiny slit. They have 360 degree vision, um, but obviously this isn't um, that high tech. I have to actually see through it. Um, I'm pretty happy with the visor material itself. You know, from the outside, it looks pretty dark, um, but once your eyes are that close, you see through it pretty well. Um, I was only wearing it for, you know, a couple minutes, just playing it, kind of seeing how it felt and I could already start to see the inside getting foggy. So I'm glad that I opted with um, April Storm props the way she does it with the fan system integrated in there. Um, as you can see, I kind of just tuck the wire up there. What I'll probably end up doing is I have a small little battery pack that I'll probably hide over here and then plug in there. And then I can turn the fan on and um, have it blowing some passive air across the front of the visor. Um, putting the range finder on, um, you saw me kind of playing back and forth Basically, with both washers in place, it's a little thicker than I wanted, but with only one washer, it jiggled. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is grabbing some thinner nylon washers or something, and then maybe putting some shim stock in there, because I don't really want to do this. But of course, it probably doesn't really bother me as much as I think it will. And then she also gave a wing nut for up inside here. I'm probably just gonna replace it with like a jam nut or something, just so it's shorter. And then I'll probably also buzz off a little length there. It didn't touch my head surprisingly, but I could feel it <laughs> literally in the force that was right here waiting to grind into the side of my temple. So I'm going to do that um, later. Uh, but right now, I mean, it's, it's good enough for what I'm trying to do with it. So yeah, all in all, this is done. Um, I'm very happy with how it came out. Um, 
glad I went with this uh, configuration from Ample Storm. Um, everything looked really great and now it kind of gives me good motivation because what you're going to see in the rest of these video series, I'm going to custom make my own gauntlets. I'm going to modify a jetpack unit and I'm going to buy kind of off the shelf um, body armor pieces um, from a couple people that I saw online. Basically, if you ever want to build something like this, you can go on Etsy and there's tons of people out there doing cold casting and 3D printing. And, you know, if you have the money, you can get somebody to paint it for you, too. Um, I obviously want to do it kind of my own way and, you know, have a hand in it at least. Uh, the gauntlets are going to be nice because I'm going to 3D print them myself. I have my new printer coming in and, um, you know, the body armor I'm going to have somebody else cast, but then I'll paint. And I'm going to stick to the scheme. I'm going to use the same kind of semi-gloss uh, black and then the red accents and then I'll try to tie everything in. I really like how the silver looks on the left ear. I'm probably going to utilize that more. Um, but all in all, uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, very cool. I'm going to um, put a rack up on the side of the wall in the office here uh, so I can put it up on the shelf and have it sitting there wherever I want to play with it. And um, yeah, it's going to be great. So, um, you know, thanks for coming along and you know, may the fourth be with you and uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks.